the coastal town of Swakopmund sees thousands of Namibians and other visitors descend upon it every key December. This week on It's a Wrap, we focus on the food trucks that are serving the nation and bringing much joy to all the revelers that come to this town. Bernard and unique Richtman run Bry World, where they serve specialities of various kinds of fish dishes. Check this out. We are in company together with Bry World. We've started this food truck about four and a half years ago. Uh, I'm a fisherman. I own some boats, so I do surf fishing and deep sea fishing. So um, um, we catch all our fish self for our business. Okay, so um, people come for our fresh snook, our fresh crayfish, and our fresh cobble yo. Always fresh, like my husband said, he's a fisherman, so we guarantee our freshness. And I know that people come to Bry World for that. We are also the only f uh, food truck in Swakopmun that does flame grill products. So um, you have the option to grill or fry your fish. Uh, we also have um, basics like calamari. Our calamari is one of our best sellers. And uh, then we do it in wraps. Uh, we have a calamari wrap and we have a hake wrap as well. And then you, we introduced, last year we introduced combos. So um, one of our most famous combos is the best of Bryworld combo, where you can get uh, our flame grilled wings, our calamari, and your choice of fish. So you can choose between either Cabal Yo, Snook, or Hake with that combo. This season we're gonna concentrate on crayfish. We're gonna make it much cheaper for the guy on the street. Um, so we're gonna concentrate on crayfish like, uh, uh, this weekend we will be doing the Netbank Food Festival and we have a special on crayfish, it's like crayfish two ways. It's the usual crayfish, how we do it, uh, all our grilled it and then we'll have uh, a crayfish salad also for just for the price of 100 bucks. So guys, you can't miss that for that price. Normally it's about 200 and up. In the beginning of the COVID season, that was like in 2020, we um, actually received a really nice tender at the municipality of Swakopmund to manage their cafeteria. So we started um, in July 2020 um, with a cafeteria and then COVID hit us. So um, we were there for like about a year and then um, we had to decide to close either the food truck or the cafeteria for for us to be able to um, survive this COVID. So uh, we made a we had to make a difficult business decision to close the cafeteria and just operate the food truck. So that's uh, the main the main uh, reason why we can still stand here and that we are thankful that we are that our doors are still open. So um, and another thing is um, we received some funding from Startup Namibia so we would also just like to say thank you for that. Um, so they really carried that that few uh, dollars carried us through as well. Food truck culture in Swakop Munt is, has picked up a lot in the last two years. 
I think um, most of the people think it's an easy money-making thing, but there's a lot of work, there's a lot of planning to to give out a very good product, a fresh product like you, like, like Bry World is doing. So uh, the culture is bit of we are working together very nicely with each other, and uh, everything is actually. Uh, um, we, we got a lot of tourists. The tourists like these street foods and they always come and try us out and everything. Yeah. So currently uh, in our food truck we employ two permanent staff members um, and then me and my husband is also working here as well. And then for the festive season we usually get in temps. So um, we have one temp at the moment that's going to assist us through this festive season. Merry, Merry Christmas, Christmas everybody! everybody.